Hey everyone, we're live from Stanford at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit uh, and we're here with a, a really special uh, guest today, the President of the United States, Barack Obama. How are you? Good. Uh, the, we're just coming off of a, a great hey, panel. You know, it's great to do a live with you. I think right. you've um, done a bunch that people have. have enjoyed. I, I really liked your Muhammad Ali one That's and wonderful. I think a lot of people have enjoyed the, the tour of the Oval Office. It <laughs> was, um, was a pretty unique experience right. that you gave people. Uh, so. What are your thoughts on the Global Entrepreneurship Summit? I know last year uh, you did this in Nairobi, right. uh, this year here at Stanford. Yeah. Um, what, what are you, what's your goal for this? Well, we started this, this is the seventh now, we started this at the beginning of my administration because when we met with young people around the world, what you discovered was uh, the thing that, that brands America more positively than anything is the notion that you have an idea, you go out there and you can build something, you can start something. Uh, and, and entrepreneurship really resonated with the next generation of Africans, Asians, Latin Americans. So we, we decided to uh, put together this global uh, entrepreneurship summit. We've done it in Turkey and the Emirates and Malaysia, but we thought that it would be good since the first one was in Washington, D.C., to, to bring it back home here to Silicon Valley where uh, everybody around the world understands you know, this is a hub of innovation and uh, we have people participating from 170 countries 20 governments have sent representatives here and what you see are these incredible young people who are starting all kinds of uh, important ventures in their own country and they have the opportunity to interact with you with the venture capitalists with um, uh, nonprofits and and find the best practices that can help them build uh, the sort of uh, businesses, but also the sort of change uh, that they want to see in their countries. Yeah, it's a really inspiring group of folks, yeah. and the, the folks on the panel just now. Right. So, you know, the world, there's this trend where you know, we keep on getting more and more connected. Right. And, um, you know, the trend, I think, has largely accelerated under right. your presidency. So I'm curious, what are the biggest changes that you've seen in this regard? Well, uh, if you think about uh, just 2008, and what's happened in social media, uh, something that you helped to lead, obviously, that has been an incredible transformation. Uh, it has changed. Uh, we didn't talk about this beforehand. No, we did not. But I, but I think it's, it's fair to say that uh, it's changed how people uh, interact with each other. It is now changing politics. It's changing our economics in fundamental ways. It means that everybody has an immediacy and an access to each other not just to information, but to each other in ways that we had never seen before. Um, and, and that's powerful. Uh, now, what, what that does is give entrepreneurs opportunities to leapfrog over old technologies, old political structures, old institutions, mm -hmm. and start forming their own. It's disruptive. In some cases, it's also scary. Right, a classic example is what happened in Egypt. We were just with a young entrepreneur yeah. uh, uh, from Cairo uh, where uh, Facebook and social media helped to launch a revolution, but it also created a blowback and a concern about you know, what does this mean for all these young people to be able to talk to each other without having to go through mm -hmm. established channels. Uh, and part of, I think, our goal has to be to make sure that we uh, uh, help young people like the ones who are here at this uh, entrepreneurship summit uh, use these new tools form these new bonds uh, and not crush the innovation uh, innovation but rather uh, help to shape it in a way that creates more jobs more opportunity more inclusiveness more tolerance more uh, understanding uh, more peace less conflict uh, and and that's going to happen but it's going to take some time and and uh, I think you're always going to have people who react to all this new stuff by saying that's a little scary. Yeah, and you know, I mean, there are always new tools, and you know, it's always the people who make the change, right? right? So, I mean, we were talking to a lot of really inspiring entrepreneurs here, right. and um, and you know, you mentioned Egypt. I think it's there it was the the people who who right. really led that, um, and you know, tools um, and connectivity. Right. I, I think is a big net positive for the world, right. but we need to make sure that. Uh, that entrepreneurs are taking advantage of, of these opportunities right. and, and creating more value for, for everyone in the world. So I'm curious, what, what do you think are the biggest on opportunities that I mean, you'd love to see yeah. uh, some of the entrepreneurs here go after uh, and empower them well, to do? Well, 
uh, th there are both sectors uh, where I think there are huge opportunities, and uh, there are things the government can do as well. So uh, in terms of the problems that we have to solve, energy is a classic example, the issue of climate change. Um, th there are uh, entire continents, uh, sub-Saharan Africa or the uh, uh, Indian subcontinent, where people are developing rapidly, they're mm -hmm. getting connected, they're going to need electricity, they're going to need energy, but if they duplicate the ways that we produce energy here, or have in the past, yeah. then the entire yep. planet's underwater. So the opportunities to use connectivity to uh, solve the, the clean energy problem, that is an area that is going to make a huge difference. And you made an announcement about that today. We did, uh, where we're going to be funding more young entrepreneurs around that issue. Education. We've, we've got entire continents where the average age is way under 30. Yeah. And if that's the case, we've got to make sure that they've got the education that they need to be able to access these incredible tools. And thinking about how technology, online learning can turbocharge and advance uh, people's uh, ability to, to uh, educate themselves, get good jobs, get the skills and the training they need, that's uh, a huge sector. Healthcare. Uh, same thing. So, so, th so there, there's not a problem out there where young art entrepreneurs are not already finding innovative solutions. The key is for us to have built the infrastructure for it, mm -hmm. to build the structures of, of rule of law and the regulatory structures so that they're not getting bottled up and frustrated uh, by old creaky systems. Uh, and the goal for the U.S. government is to continue to uh, speak out on behalf of these young entrepreneurs where we can provide them help and also work with their governments to help them recognize they're sitting on this uh, yeah. gold mine of talent and the, they've just got to unleash it. Well, it's an exciting time it and um, it's an honor to be able to do a Facebook Live with you. Well, look, uh, you could see, Mark, when you, you met some of these young entrepreneurs, all of them look up uh, to you as a, as a role model and, and Facebook as an example of the transformative power of uh, uh, one good idea and, and, a, and a doggedness and a determination to build it out. And uh, so uh, for you to participate, for Silicon Valley, Stanford University to be a part of this makes a huge difference. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.